All right. Let's go ahead and get started. Um, cool. All right, so where we left off, uh, playing whack-a-mole in northern Virginia, specifically in the valley. We've got our fleets um, increasing power. Um, all right, we've got our sleeps of war. Let's go ahead and park them into the Savannah Squadron under Tatnall. Uh, once these guys are all finished, um, at least the frigates will go into Savannah Squadron, and then CSS Virginia will probably... I would like to get in the James River Squadron. Um, might go into the North Carolina Squadron. We'll see. Um, seven ships, 14 guns, that's not really a force. Uh, all right. Check our projects. Um, nothing of note. Siege, uh, Battle of Strasbourg. Um, I think this is where we left off with... All right. Um, what's going on? All right. Engaged the Army of Pennsylvania, drove them off. So now we'll move the Army of the Shenandoah back into the valley, link up with the Army of the Potomac to take on these two armies, one of which is New England, the other one... I can't actually see. We've got uh, Joseph, uh, Albert Sidney Johnston has just taken uh, Mumfordville with the Union Supply Depot. Uh, looks like uh, plenty of yeah, plenty of provisions, weapons, everything. So that's a nice, nice find. Uh, he's got almost thirty thousand troops. Not yet into divisions. I would love to get these guys into a battle so that we can start that. Um, there is a depot in, Louis in Louisville, Kentucky. Um, I know there's a Union Army somewhere around London that would be equal to us. And then the Army of Indiana is forming over here. Um, the Army of West Tennessee, fully ready to go. Let's go ahead and have them march on London, the Army of the Shenandoah. All right, let's go ahead and start the timer here. Get moving. All right, the depot is completed. Um, so the Army of Northwest aren't really facing anybody of note. So let's move them up the va or down the valley. Um, looks would appear that we're winning. Um, two Federal Corps. Um, yeah, I definitely want to get the Army of Shenandoah moving on them from the other side. Um, and I think that takes care of the Virginia forces. Out here in Fayetteville, we were building a depot. With that nearly complete, I think we can go ahead and move the Missouri State Guard forward. We'll then leapfrog. Um, we are going to face, yeah, combined, I think they take us separate. We can beat them. So I'd like to get the two Union armies there separated as quickly as possible. Um, all right, I we need to drive everybody off around here. Um, Looks like the Union forces keep routing. But that's. Uh, these sieges are so hard to tell what's actually going on. They've lost double our troops. Um, let's see here. U.S. warns Europe not to intervene. Union blockade proclaimed legal. New chapter in. The trade warfare, European trade slowing down. All right. And European superpowers agreed that a blockade is a legal form of warfare. Well, I mean, the British did against Napoleon 50 years earlier, so 
That's kind of to be expected. All right, Johnson moving down. And... Okay, two... Conf oh, uh, there are so much going on. Um, okay. Engagement. Army of West Tennessee against the Army of Kentucky. Uh, John Wool commanding. Definitely a aged gentleman at 77 years old, but him and Winfield Scott would be the best two commanders in the field at day one of the war. Um, A.S. Johnson obviously considered up there. Um, all right, so they're basically getting 50, 40 some odd thousand troops right out of the gate. We have 28,000. Um, maybe if we can hold, um, all right, it's going to depend on terrain. We're going to have to turn their flank while holding them in position. It's my only hope or seeing them separated. Um, so yeah, it's going to be 44,000 against 30,000. I think we have in the field. Um, hopefully we see here in just a moment. Yeah, so they outnumber us by right around 15,000. Um, Wool is a good commander, so not to be underestimated. Plus, all of our troops are not in divisional structure in this army because this is our first engagement, so we don't know who's going to do well and who's going to do poorly. Um, yeah. Let me know if you guys have any thoughts on this battle. All right, hopefully this is not our Shiloh. All right, Perryville map. We're coming in from the north. Um, so, all right, so this is going to be the Battle of London. Mitchellsburg is the objective. We have to assume that that's where they're going to set up somewhere down here. Um, let's go ahead and move the Army of West Tennessee forward. Um, let's get, got John Hunt Morgan and there's Forrest. So we get those gentlemen on the road as we head south. All right, let's start this. This may be, it's probably going to end up being a multi-day battle. Um, Forrest set up to find out what's at Perryville. Uh, as far as our road network goes, we've got one east-west, one north-south. So, um, let's... No. Um, no. I think we uh, take a look at what's at Broomfield. Um, is this a actual road or is this just a, that's just a trail? All right, J.B. Harmon's house. Morgan is from Kentucky, so these are his stomping grounds. Probably move the, the army to head down the Bloomfield Pike and attack from this way if they're actually defending Mitchellsburg. Um, we'll get the cavalry started. And... Yeah. Start moving some troops forward, actually. Let's go that way. Braxton Bragg. Simon B. Buckner, commanding some Kentuckians. Whiting. All right, you'll be the other brigade, and 
Uh, Vaughn. Wild thing. All right, Desher. All right. Rest of the forces, I say we head towards Perryville because that gives us. Um, come down from the north onto their main position. And I don't want to do this as a full army because I do want to split us up. Um, this is, I got to say, this is going to end up being a little bit uh, Albert Sidney Johnson-esque because he that would definitely design overly complex plans. That's for sure. Do we have just the no, we do have two. Who didn't I get? Sheffield. Um, let's move Sheffield down this way also and speed things up. All right. Wool has arrived. I have to assume they're all coming from uh, Parksville, Parksville Knob, that sort of area. I don't see any other entry points for the Union. Oh, oh, over here. Um, okay. Let's, well, let's, uh, Forrest hasn't found anything in Perryville yet. Um, so let's move him to these heights. John Hunt Morgan, issue an evade order. Hopefully that reaches him in time, just in case they are setting up. Um, how am I going to win this? What is our path to victory? All right, Morgan, you've set up shop by uh, the Harmon House. Um, so if they are coming in from this direction, they're going to pass right in front of Morgan. Um, too small to send scouts out, so essentially he is a scout. Let's move him just a touch over. Forrest, moving forward, hasn't spotted anybody yet. All the brigades moving forward. Johnson's going to have a hell of a time commanding this force. But hopefully we get some senior leadership out of this. All right, Forrest is in position. Let's go ahead. Um, i got to imagine they're down here. But let's send Forrest over to Ray's house. Let him go visit Ray. And, all right, let's start moving forces over as they arrive about down by the Harmon house. Um, I think our best shot at victory for this is uh, definitely our superior weapons. Um, do I have any? Let's set up right there. And then Vaughn, move you to just over by Morgan. All right, you guys have reached your destination, so we'll move you up to the next point, which is Ray House. Um, so many brigades. So little command and control. Uh, what else do I got? All right, artillery set up right there. Who doesn't have orders to move? You don't. Move you this way. Still haven't found the enemy. That's starting to get concerning. Um, right behind Ray, and I think there's one. No, Johnson, you have 
Orders. If Johnson has orders, that should be everybody. All right. All right, Simon Buckner. Um, get you over here. All right, still have not found them. So Morgan, before we, uh, I, I want to take this as a escape route out. How you doing, Zabitastic? How's your evening going? All right, Forest. Um, let's go ahead, cross Buck Creek. See if we can find something from the heights. All right, everybody's advancing. Still haven't found where their lines are. I'm not seeing them down here. So, Morgan, um, take another step forward, and then we'll claim supply route. Um, I might send Forrest down here to capture this one cut off their supplies, because this is definitely going to be a two-day battle. Zavitastic, how's your evening going? Okay, finally some contact. Um, but that is not much of a line. All right, Morgan, go ahead and seize that. Forest, let's have you move down the Parkersville Road. All right, so they are set up at Mitchellsburg, uh, which means I'm going to advance this force over to Broomfield. I wonder if they make brooms there. This will kind of be our, uh, this will probably be our frontal attack. This will probably be our flanking force. That's how I'm right now envisioning things. All right, so we've captured that. Morgan, can you actually get on top? Um, where do I want? Let's get you right there on top of uh, the heights. All right, this force is moving, so we know they have a line going like this. But they should have a second full army, which I haven't spotted yet. Um, doo -doo -doo. All right, Forrest, you're going to go down. Let's, let's uh, take a look at what's at Parksville as we continue to scout the battlefield. These forces, I definitely want to crash into their flanks, so we're going to have to cross through the woods. Um, so let's go ahead and start setting that maneuver up. Um, the artillery. Oh. No, I've got artillery in here. Oh, come on. There we go. And Canty, get you guys on top of the hill. Are you uh, branch? All right, you are moving. Oh, shite. Forest retreat. Okay, so their armies are separated. Forest, please get out of there. Well, let me just order a retreat command. Damn it. All right. Mixed cavalry. Who's forest is ah. All right. Damn. Um wounded in action. Severe wounds has been carried by the ambulance. Um This is this just got interesting. Um, which also means another amazing commander has been wounded in this campaign. Um, 
Oh, all right. So we've got cavalry coming up. Let's get some brigades moving against them, if you please. Um, these guys are going to advance this direction, so they haven't found this force. Let's move Morgan forward. Um, yeah, let's get these guys forward. Johnson's on this wing, personally in command. It would be nice if I could actually take the objective and all of a sudden this becomes a defensive battle. Not sure I'm going to have that much luck, but... Alright, so they, they're marching in force against this portion of my army. Um, uh, let's get hey Johnson, if you could, tell everybody to start firing at long range. Um, you need to fire on them. Please fire on them as quickly as possible. All right, Brown, John C. Brown is in contact. And this is going to be first, first battle for pretty much every single unit on my side, I believe. Um, Bushrod Johnson, you're going to need to be in reserve. Forest Command, head up to this damn bridge. All right. Uh, and let's see if we can quickly get rid of their cavalry troopers. What's this? Branch is in. Branch, you, you can't hit from behind them. All right, we're fighting with decent weapons, though. I need you guys to actually start moving as quickly as humanly possible. Um, right. So we've driven off one. Right, the first two cavalry units have at least. Or at least in re retreat. 2700. Alright. And Johnson, the rest of your force. So we might be able to take this and route enough. Um, definitely gonna. Yeah, let's get Morgan to take a gander. Forest, you need to move. Or, I know you're not even. You're not even on the field anymore. Johnson, I almost... You need to be in the center of things. They we're moving too slowly. Alright. Uh, Branch broke. Let's get a rally command on him. Bates, start firing. Let's move forward a touch. All right, everybody is beginning to move. All right. Orders are still being distributed. Let's speed things up just a touch. All right. Oh, branch. Rally, damn it, rally. This is, this is not going to turn out well. Yeah, our, our morale is already too low. Yep. This, we need to retreat. Johnson, get your entire command back here. You're not even going to be able to issue orders to them all in time, but yeah. Morale is simply too low to take on 
this many uh, Union troops. Um, let's see. Yeah, 700 losses to 500 is just... Yep, minor defeat. I'll take it. Basically a skirmish. Those two armies would separate. We'd have a much better chance, but I think this gives us good cause to begin to expand the Army of Tennessee. At least some of our commanders have gained some battle experience now. So we'll start to promote some division commanders once they settle in. And them settling in might end up being um, back at Mumfordville, maybe Nashville, probably not Knoxville because we'd actually have to retreat through the Union line. So I hope we're not retreating that direction. Hopefully it's just back towards Mumfordville. Um, so we did capture some Union troops. That doesn't matter. All right, so they are both there building a depot. Johnson, there we go. Not retreating far at all. But, oh, so Army of Indiana is taken. The Army of Indiana maybe is the one we should fight. Get this force out of here. All right. Let's head towards Mumfordville, Cat, recapture that depot. See what's going on in the valley. All right. Porterfield, get your army into this damn thing. I thought one of the fixes was supposed to be that uh, sieges lasted less time. All right, we've got funding policy. So that uh, brings your credit rating back up. Take a look at policies. I don't think we need um, anything but military next. Um, all right, so not exactly sure how all this works. Ransom Junior's Brigade, casualties two to one. Okay. So now three Confederate Corps, 50,000 troops on the field um, against two Federal Corps with about 20,000 troops. 81, uh, two days. Okay, I can wait two days. Let's see if the project, any new projects? Nope. speed things along and then we are going to advance up the valley do we go for an 1861 uh, Antietam go after Fredericksburg Maryland that would really rattle the Union all right Army of the Ohio now so they have four armies in Kentucky uh, all right oh who's back is this going to be Samuel Cooper? Excellent. Um, am I allowed? Not yet. So this uh, damn siege has to end. Um, I mean, come on. Can we assault? Yes. Let's end this thing. Let's end this thing. Mm. 
All right. We will give them the best show we can. General Samuel R. Curtis and a message before the Battle of Pea Ridge. I don't think we're going to have any problems with uh, South Face at Pea Ridge, although we should be coming in one core from the north, two core from the south. So it might, yeah, it might actually be a little bit like Pea Ridge. All right. So we do have, all right, um, who's on the field? Okay, so Army of the Shenandoah. All right, we hold the two objectives, which, uh, what? No, Beauregard. Um, and Port, okay, so all of our forces are on the field. Um, what is Smith's division? Longstreet's division. That seemed odd. All right. Um, let's figure out. So North can come in from here. All right. So the North's going to come in from here towards Cedar Grove Church. Um, Army of Shenandoah is going to be on route, coming down on Roots Hill. I see. I'm going to go. We have 34 um, points. Let's get our forces into trenches. That's awesome. All right. Um, everybody in Beauregard's command pretty much is nervous. But some breastworks, which we will start right there, build right across to... The other side. Um, yeah, I think that pretty much uh, sums it up. Pickett, Jones, Robert Ransom, Low Armistead, Brian, George Smith, Old Jube, Max Gregg. Mr. Theopolis Holmes, Alpha Colquitt, and then Longstreet's uh, Brigade, Archer, or Division Archer, Bonham, A.P. Hill, John Ibadan, and John B. Gordon. Move up our artillery. All right, yeah. Needed to do that to get everybody in position. All right, let's. I don't think they're going to come because they'd have to come in front of our guns if they're going to be over here. Um, they might come across the river. So I will spread this force out. Touch, give us some spacing. All right, and we will place our artillery. Uh, Ten pounders, let's get you guys in back. James rifles, um, you need to be in back also. And Bartow, you have Napoleons. Um, here's his. Good space. Fitzhugh. Um, I don't want to get too um, too crazy, but uh, let's get our cavalry over here on the flanks, just in case they go straight this way instead of towards our actual lines. Um, Beauregard, you need to move your happy self up. All right, so that is our line of battle on that side. Joseph E. Johnston, John. Uh, yeah, let's 
can you please get into line of battle? Cox Division, uh, Jackson. So kind of line this up, uh, Chancellorsville. Oh, wow. They're already on Roots Hill. All right, uh, never mind. What in the world? All right, let me get all the artillery so they can fire from the get. Um, Stewart, cover the river crossing. Are they entrenched? They're entrenched. All right. So, go ahead and view up. So, three division in column of attack, basically, um, are going to hit this side. And if that's if they're going to play defensive, then yeah, we'll advance Porterfield first with uh, Kirby Smith and James Longstreet in reserve. Let's see what they actually do. So our artillery is going to be firing on them from the beginning. All right, they're not moving. Oh, saw some movement. Enemies retreating? Damn. Well, I guess we wanted to drive them from Virginia anyway, but... Let's go ahead and just charge. I don't know if this is going to do any good. Four minutes. Do we? Is there any, even any casualties? No. What have we lost to? Mm. All right. So that was a lot of setup for no payoff. Absolutely no payoff. Okay. We lost two men, the Union lost zero. Well, at least that sets us up to march down the valley. Maybe, maybe with all, I mean, this is about the size army that Lee would have invaded uh, Maryland with. Hmm. We are going military too, so I'll have draftees before too long. Definitely need to get on the core structure so that I can make this a proper army. Right now it's just divisions and three separate armies, which I'm trying to coordinate, and Porterfield just isn't having it. All right, victory at Strasbourg. Captured two rifles. Oh, they lost almost a thousand men. Nice. Of course, we couldn't keep them, but, um, yep, going to keep, uh, what do we need? Pretty far from the diplomatic solutions. We do have uh, cavalry reform already in place, so organization reform, how much is this? Uh, 3.5 million, okay. All right, let's... See this retreat. Army of New England and Army of Potomac. Okay. Let's get uh, Porterfield. Beauregard moved up. Army of the Shenandoah has an extra ability. Um, I've already got Flying Corps, um, Foot Cavalry, that just applies to forced marches. Could definitely come in handy though. Let's go ahead and do that. Um, yeah, we'll let those, those armies get into position. Johnson, you're coming in to settle. 
and uh, your readiness is shot. Fortunately, you captured the depot again. Um, no uniforms, no small arms ammunition, barely any artillery ammunition, but uh, plenty of food, so at least we've got food. All right, let's rest. Rest and refit. Um, and let's take a look at the organization here. Do we have, actually, there's one, hold on, is, <coughs> excuse me, um, Army of Tennessee, just see, no, Barksdale, Barksdale, you're going to be in Virginia, um, this is a Mississippi Brigade, and we're going with Hopefully, well, you've at least served. So, if you posy. All right. Let's get rid of the political commanders. People like them serving. All right. Army of the Potomac. Um, uh, let's see here. Need everybody's readiness back up. Um, cartographers gathering a movement. Intelligence, um, intelligence and order delay. Oh man. River Expedition, um, Skirmishing, and, okay, Enemy Slows Down, uh, Movements made across small rivers, Supply Efficiency, Engineers, Construction Speed, Foot Cavalry, Flying Column, Movement Speed, Maximum Supply, yeah, let's do that. All right, their readiness is almost back up enough. I think with oh, um, yeah, you need the ambulance corps. All right, Army of the Potomac. Union Army should be out of readiness, but let's see what we can muster. All right, so pretty even forces, uh, at least the Army of Shenandoah is the one leading this. Um, Army of the Potomac is going to be not in the best of shape. But then again, the Army of the Potomac and New England should also not be in the best of shape. Winfield Scott, commanding the Department of Pennsylvania. Yes, fame, rising star, 75 years old. <laughs> Joseph E. Johnston, Major General. Fame is already legendary. All right. Let's... Play this battle, and this will probably be the last battle of this uh, episode stream. All right, so we outnumber them by 646 troops. 
Battle of Winchester. This will definitely be the largest battle ever fought in the Shenandoah Valley, historically or otherwise. All right. Once again, I think we will have a good advantage on weaponry since we got the Lorenzes in. Um, I think Joseph, I think General Joseph E. Johnson was more a, the soldier in looks, carriage, and manner than any of our other generals. Edward Porter Alexander describing Johnston. All right. So we are advancing. They have the Apple Pie Ridge. Uh, as far as our forces go, why can't I? There we go. Are all our forces on the field? Oh, damn. Okay. Um, all right, Porterfield, you're going to advance up the Bufflick Road. Johnson, um, formation is going to be Columns. You're going to advance up the Royal Road. And then Beauregard, Columns, you're advancing up the Valley Turnpike. Um, set up. I mean, if they're on Apple Pie Ridge, setup will be Beauregard, Johnson, Porterfield as a flanking force. Um, let's see how this goes. Um, Stuart, if you could be so kind, advance that way. Um, if I could click on him, Fitzhugh Lee, go to the Bell House. Turner Ashby, Toll House. See if we can get some eyes on the Union before we begin to advance too far. Porterfield, let's go ahead and move your forces up here. Um, what on earth is happening? All right, Beauregard, if you could uh, deploy line of battle. Johnson, um, oh, let's also deploy you. Are they really not going to defend? All right, they do have four armies. So they could be up here, and this could just be one of the four. Um, one, two. Yeah, they have four different entry points. So I'll keep advancing Porterfield uh, towards Winchester. Let's see how that goes. Beauregard and Johnston, I want to... Whatever this is, I want to crush it. Um, so they're still waiting on an army, because uh, right now, at least one, depending on which one it is. Let's speed things up. All right. So, Beauregard, let's um, deploy off of Kernstown right in front of the woods here, like so. Johnson, if you could. Um, oh, there's a more forces down here than I anticipated. Um, all right. Jackson, advance. We're going to similar strategy to what we were planning on doing the last battle. Um, let's get our artillery over here. What are you firing at? Anything? Don't think so. All right, set up. All right, 
So there's going to be one of four Union armies. Jackson, your armies, your forces in position. Uh, Johnson, long range. Beauregard, long range. Line of battle, quickly please. Let's slow things down because we're in contact here. All right, drove off first U.S. cap. Oh, 50% casualties in the first minute of the battle. All right, um, Lee, I know you're taking casualties. Charge them. If they're going to leave guns like that completely unprotected. And then Longstreet, advance, Jackson, advance. Uh, everyone else is in a cluster. And Porterfield, if you could be so kind, get your army into position. This is odd. Feels like they keep retreating every time I advance. That being said, Beauregard, can you get closer? And Johnson also go up and see what's actually happening and Lee I'm sure you're doing a great job uh, strength 30 casualties 20 just drive them from the field please make them abandon their guns all right that's one let's get over here All right, so all you guys are able to fire? Is that, oh no. Yeah, really? It's, oh, it's the hill elevation. They are literally on the top of a hill, okay. Um, Porterfield, hurry up. All right, Jackson's advancing, Longstreet's advancing. Should just be able to engage two divisions on this and be good. Slow things down. You can move over. Where are you going? I can't wait till I'm back in command. Wheats, Tigers, you got plenty of room to fire. Why are you... What? That, that, okay, fine. All right, you guys. All right, Cole quit. Yeah, turn your brigade. Jube, let's advance. Theopolis Holmes, let's advance. And the Virginia Brigade out of the valley. All right, we're not going to do a great job of holding there. But, Archer, you're good. Bonham, please go this way. Lee, run up and shoot somebody. Uh, oh, that's a detachment? Gentlemen, please, drive him from the field. All right, I'm going to need to send Magruder to back up Porterfield. Honestly, Urban Cur uh, Edmund Kirby Smith, you do the same. And then Philip St. George, please go to the right of Jackson. You guys are not doing much up here, so... Uh, there we go, some more. All right, uh, we are driving them from the field a little bit up here. Um, I would like to actually get you guys on the side. A little bit of a flanking maneuver. Uh, Ashby and Stewart.
please head up that way. I want to make sure I'm not getting attacked in the flank. Uh, Jackson. Let's go up here. All right, now that you're... Oh, shit. Lee, get out of there. Retreat with all haste. Bottom Hill Embedden keep advancing. Gordon, you go after them. Archer, go up here. Lee, are you really? You're not going to break. Um, double time, please, sir. Um, Lawrence rifle. All right. Jackson, you're moving. Philip St. George, all right, you're going to overlap a little bit. How's this force doing? Maxi Greg, you're holding on. Cole quits holding. All right, looks like everybody's doing their job up here. So we have engaged two separate federal armies now on two separate parts of the battlefield at the same time. Um, I've got three divisions uh, going against each, but right now oh, Lee did break. Damn. Well, that's a lot of... All right, uh, let's see here. Kirby Smith, you're advancing. Magruder is also advancing. So I have three divisions coming to, to save Porterfield. While Jackson, Longstreet, and Philip St. George Cock are moving against this federal force. Longstreet's forces are heavily engaged. Jackson's are about to be. Um, doing good. Get you in action, Reigns. You go there. Um, yeah, let's pile on the artillery on this side. We're going to need it if they start to break through Porterfield's line. Of course, I'm also not going to have any, uh, any backup of any sort. everybody doing? Greg, you're probably taking the worst of it. But everybody's firing. Um, Virginia Brigade. Honestly, let's... Can you? Ah. Alright. Alright, so the entirety of Jackson and Longstreet's divisions are now engaged heavily with the federal forces. The Battle of Winchester. They really don't have James Arch Archer, come on. Move forward. And but then you're gonna have to move forward too. Those Mississippi Rifles definitely doing their job. Alright, this whole Union force is about... They are not in good shape at all. Um, which is uh, definitely surprising, considering they're definitely going up against a smaller force on this end of the battlefield. Um, can we actually tell which army these are? Yeah, the Army of Pennsylvania, which I guess wasn't engaged too recently ago. This is the Army of New England, which we just routed out of the valley. They're actually holding on better. Not holding on well, but holding on better. Cock, let's get your brigade advanced. 
cavalry still isn't seeing anything coming. Yeah, we've won. Yep, enemies retreating. Fire on them, boys. Five thousand Union troops to our fourteen hundred casualties. Two of our divisions didn't even need to get engaged. <coughs> no, we're Jackson's division still engaged. Fifty-five hundred casualties. Beat this up. I'm not going to have. Pursuit's not going to be that great. Yule actually just opened fire. We've got Mississippi's. Fifty-five hundred. Yule, what the hell are you doing? Loring's brigade. All right, we're doing good. All right, that ends. Fifty-five hundred. 1400 and it's been still only a minor victory but hopefully this drives off four Union armies from the valley which four Union armies in retreat and one battle I would have to say constitutes a major victory strategically if not tactically especially considering we were taking them on piecemeal from our side. Uh, they, you know, there was two separate full armies of probably twelve to 16,000 men each. I engaged two divisions all against one and one division against the other. It's not like we had massive superiority in anything other than possibly firearms. So that's going to conclude tonight's uh, Civil War stream. Captain Tintball loses face. Uh, looks like we captured 3,300 rifles, 16 cannon, 1,100 enemy troops have been paroled. Really don't want to get into the whole um, prison camp situation yet. What have we got here? What are we actually facing? Stand 2,400 men in a cavalry unit. <sighs> and Johnson is definitely on the defensive here. They have food. They have ammunition. So they should recover rather quickly. But... Um, so what do we got? These three are these four armies: the Army of Northeastern Virginia, and Army of the Chesapeake. Okay, are all still viable? Um, Will's uh, who's Montgomery's Calvary's and Fortieth Army with sixty-five men or eighty-five men. That's a hell of a force. Army of Mississippi, okay. Army of Tennessee is pulling away from Missouri. So that's a plus. Uh, before we go, we'll check policies once again. Nope. We have an A plus credit rating. Which, uh, let's see here. Take that out. Infield Musketoon. Wait a minute, we got British rifles already? Uh, let's get 25,000 of those. We've got Richmond Carbines. Um, yeah, let's get Enfields. Um, get another 5,000 Lorenzes just to back ourselves up. Whitworths. Um, 5,000. Napoleons. Let's get another 32 on order. Um, what haven't we got? Augustine's, I'm good. Smoothbore Busket that have been rifled. Uh, Whitworth's, 
600 yard effective range. Yeah. Have that that's going to be my personal brigade. Um, the one other thing that I would like to do before we exit the stream is all right, Stephen D. Lee, Garnett, Anderson. Hmm. David R. Jones, Ewell. Ewell could be division commander for sure. Um, Ruggles. Ruggles, your administration is actually more than I thought it would be. Wilcox, all right. McClaws, I know where you're supposed to be. North Carolina, Louisiana. <clears throat> Wheat, if you had any administration, you'd be good. Um, all right, I need a Virginia unit. And actually, probably Army of the Potomac. Embedine, AP Hill, Gordon, Archer. Uh, so we're going to say that George Pickett is now a colonel. Uh, it's going to be replaced again by Sam Cooper. Sam Cooper eventually... Actually, no. Let's switch that back. Pickett. Oh, no. No, no, no. No. Beauregard, get back in command. Pickett goes there. And then... Add a new group under Samuel Cooper. This will, since he's uh, an excellent artillerist and administrator, um, we'll set up an artillery division. One, four, five, six, and five guns. So he has got 20 guns, 280 men, not the grandest of commands. Um, let's actually recruit one more uh, artillery battery, let's say from North Carolina. And it'll be one of the larger ones. And replace North Carolina. Let's see if we've got... Oh, William Pender. Perfect. It's Pender's 16-gun battery. Um... What do we have? Uh, howitzers, Parrots, Napoleons, James. Let's go for another round of Napoleons for Pender. Excellent. All right. So, guys, that'll end the stream. Uh, thank you so much for watching. Have a good night.